Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 18. And it's probably the penultimate episode, I would reckon. There are six games left to go in the season and we are playing them all. And they're all pretty much going to be potential season uh, enders, really. Legit, I cannot drop a single point in any of these games if I'm going to have any shot of winning the Premier League. Because we'll take a look at the table in a second. For now, we'll go through the fixtures. We have six games, five in the Premier League, and then the FA Cup final against Chelsea. We start this episode off a game against Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. Then we're going to play Southampton. We're going to play Burnley and leave things with the game against Huddersfield. But let's take a look at the table. We are currently eight points behind league leaders Manchester United. But the thing is, they do have two games extra played than us. So let's say the best scenario happens and we win our next two games and... We tie them on uh, on games played, but we're still two points behind. Okay, that's fine. If we drop a single point, let's say we only manage to take four points, and then that's, I don't know, three games left to go. At this point in the season, the top teams just, they don't drop points unless they're really going up against another big side. But I, I, I honestly can't see Manchester United ending up with anything less than like 84, 84. Around 84 points, honestly. And if that is the case, and they finish up with about 84 points, they win two of their games and lose the other, maybe, let's say, or maybe hopefully we get lucky and they win one game and maybe draw two, that'd be a good result. I can't. I don't know if they're going to lose many games when they've only lost three for the season, but basically, let's say they do finish with 84 points, that means we have to win every one of our games to finish on 85 to overtake them. Thankfully, our goal difference is pretty high, but I just I don't see it happening. They... Effectively, if they win two games or grab go under, I just don't know what our chances are, honestly. I think I've gotten it across pretty well that uh, our the, the odds are stacked against us. Like, let's be honest. But we're still going to fight and we're still going to hopefully do as much as we can we, until we eventually get knocked out, until it is mathematically impossible. I'm playing every Premier League game and I can guarantee you that. And the first game of our episode is going to be a bit of an interesting one. I've rotated a little bit for it, obviously, with... A lot of my plays being quite tight, and some you can tell are still not 100%, but we're going to try our best no matter what. Chelsea are currently the team that are below us as well, and even though if they do beat us in this game, they won't jump us in the table, they get very close, and we can pretty much effectively rule out our season if we don't get a win here, that's for sure. We will hope for the best, because really, it's you drop a single point for the next few games, it's over and done with. Every point, every single win is crucial. We are chasing our first piece of silverware. And even if it doesn't happen to be the Premier League, I will be disappointed, obviously. But again, we've explained it in clear depth. It's not super likely we're going to pull this off. It would take something special. Even if we can't pick up the Premier League, we will face Chelsea again at Wembley in the FA Cup final. So even though this game is pretty important and it does decide where maybe these two sides will finish in the table, it will also play as a little bit of a warm-up to the FA Cup final later on. Oh, oh, it has gotten to him. Oh, wow, with the fake shot. I'm going to give this off to Davies, who's blowing that over. And I was not trying, honestly, to give it to Davies. I know I said it out loud. I was trying to find, is that, oh, Ramsey. Maybe would have had a better chance of it. And Davies' shot, unfortunately, goes over. Oh, I still can't sneak him in. Jesus Christ, this is... I'm going to try it. Why not? Oh, my goodness, that was pretty close. I thought that was going to sail into the top corner. Instead, it barely got off the ground, but it still got pretty close, to be fair. Look at this, just curling away from goal. I'm really playing some intricate football at the moment, aren't I? I may be doing a bit too much. Ramsey spins, and that time he's got it! Finally, we break through! Come on, baby, we've had a couple long shots with Aaron Ramsey, and we have been finding our way into the box so, so close to being blocked there, and that is a brilliant finish. All right, there we go. We've finally taken the lead. We had been working our way toward the end of this first half for so long, and we got it. And now we are in half time. Nice. All right, we've had a, uh, a pretty tough, pretty, uh, I wouldn't say balanced first half. I mean, it was definitely Chelsea that was on top for the majority of the beginning of it, and then we took control for a bit. I, you know, I'll say it's been an even game, but we're probably good for our 1 0 lead. We are a fair way out here, 29 yards, but I mean. Uh, I could give it a go! Oh, how about that from John Joe Shelby? Unreal strike! Oh my, I think because I was so far out that they didn't come to close me down. Look, had plenty of time and space to fire it, and we just got it bang on. Perfect! 2 0 lead, the gap was there, and that is just unsavable. My two centre mids, Ramsey and Shelby, delivering today. I can't believe it. 
Could be space for... It's not going to get there. Oh, but it falls so kindly for Shelby. Going to try to figure it out here. Mitrovic! Oh, what a goal! Oh, boys! We got the ball back there after a bit of a fortunate tackle that went straight back to one of ours. But again, we found a way to get open Mitrovic, and he struck it well. I can't believe the start to this. Look at this. Look at that. How did that ball get through the legs of Rudiger? I think it did. It, it must have been a nutmeg. It was so close. Mitrovic got the shot in all the space. Can't believe it. We're 3-0 up. What a save. Patrick Wilson, he's stepping up. I, I tell you what, ever since we finally broke our, our hoodoo of um, like never winning a cup game and Wilson always being the one, look at that. Always, always Patrick Wilson would go and goal for our cup games. When we finally got our first win, he's come bloody good. Morata, he's off. And another big save by Patrick Wilson. Kept alive by Dummett. We're going to keep it alive. We're going to keep possession. Oh my goodness. We probably should have conceded at least one. But I tell you what, we've been sturdy at the back for the most part. And Wilson's done his bit as well. Where at Ramsey. Run to the ball, man. Jeez, ass. And out the left-hand side. Here we go. This has to be a chance. Work it to the right. End the game, son. End it! 4-0! Oh, we have been so dire going forward, like, ever since uh, Chelsea took back control of the game around the 60th minute. But, oh, I swear, when you're given a chance like that, you've got to score. I think we are just about done here. Surely there's not an awful lot of stoppage time left to go. In fact, there's basically none. 4-0 victory. I was nervous... Uh, we were coming up against probably the toughest team that we had left to play in the Premier League straight away. But we have really dismantled them in their own yard. It's an amazing result. Okay, one game down, four left to go. We'll continue the training again, although that isn't exactly at the forefront of my thinking. The training and developing of the younger, younger guard. I'm still sort of... <laughs> Really a, a tad nervous. The reason I am nervous is because Manchester United, some of their games that they have leading, like Crystal Palace, I don't expect them to get really anything but a win from that game and just others as well as we continue to scroll down, like Manchester United playing Leicester. Leicester are maybe not exactly up into the top six, seven, eight, like they maybe you would expect them to be. Their final game is against Liverpool, so maybe hopefully they could spoil the party a little bit, but... Uh, Still, I, I just, we need one of those games. We need them to lose at least one of those games, honestly. Hopefully one of them can deliver. And if we don't end up catching them, then at least that win against Chelsea, pretty, it, it, it's almost surely put us up to at least into second. Not mathematically anyway, but I mean, with four games left to go and like the point difference that we have on them, like something like seven, they did just pick up a, a win there. So they're coming closer. But again, I, I, I'd expect we're going to finish at least in the top two. And of course, how did it take me so long? I missed it a little bit, but Manchester United actually drew their last game. So I tell you what, I rid off Crystal Palace with them only being in like 15th or something, but they've done it. They've pulled out a draw and that has absolutely opened up the door for us. Now that we're only two games behind and six points behind, we win all those games. We're tied again on points and we'll probably have the high goal difference as well. I mean, we, in fact, we absolutely will. Come on, boys. It's, it's written in the stars now. Seriously, we are now in control. We are the ones. If we can win all of our games, big ass still with four left to go. But if we can do it, we will be champions now. That's the way it's set. Let's get out. We've got pretty much our full strength team out there as well. Of course, minus the uh, injuries to, of course, Thomas, uh, Thomas Trakosha, who's out. So we've got Patrick Wilson in goal. And then our leading goal scorer in Marcel Sabitzer. But Owa's been doing a pretty good job at that center attack and midfield spot anyway. If we could do it away against Chelsea, surely we can do it at home against Southampton. That's It just makes sense. But in FIFA 19 or in FIFA 18, sorry, we're not quite there yet. Who bloody knows, man? Oh, it's fallen kindly. Oh, off the post! And it's just going to fall to Ola! It's, everything is aligning for us right now. How does that fall so perfectly to him? We scored with our first attack. Come on, we have to do this. Everything is going our way. That tackle should not have ended up in front of Ramsey. That ball should not have ended up back to OR. And it's always my center attacking midfielders that are always, always profiting. I can't believe it, boys. I know I've got the sliders set against me on the CPU side of things, but I may have accidentally put the luck slider down to zero for the CPU. I, I can't believe it. Ramsey, I'm looking at Oberlin, but I, I don't like my chances of getting him the ball. Re-overlapping run from Ramsey. Maybe Davies is going to get a chance. We're going to try it. We're going to push. Saved. And it's not going to fall to one of mine. 
Okay, dicing them open here. Look at this. Keeping it on the deck. I can't believe I just did that well to get open and then I put that shit a shot up. That drives me insane. That's going to be a corner. Don't tell me that's going to be a corner. I think it's going to be a corner. Alright, maybe not. I thought for a second it was a corner. I'm like, no, there's, there's no way I got a corner out of that. That would just be peak. Change to a player. Come on, win that header. It's one, but it goes right to Hoiberg, and I probably wouldn't have got a chance to attack. I We were on fire at the beginning of the game. Maybe could have put in a second or a third. And now it's gotten a little more difficult for me. I, I just started like a house on fire. Now nothing's coming easy. Oh, lovely spin. Lovely spin indeed. Now down the left. Keep it on the deck if we can. You're fucking kidding me. How on earth did it think I was trying to pass to Ramsey? And on, and, and on the counter-attack, I'm, I'm fucking shocked. I went to ground with one of the players. I'm, I'm fucking furious right now. I can't believe... I can't believe... Oh, I can't put into words. This fucking game. How did it think I was going to Ramsey? I almost wish the, the replay would go a little further back. Because I needed to see when they came up with that ball. I can't believe it did not pick out... I, I'm not sure who it was that was in the box, but it picked out Ramsey. It was a mile away. Had to go and chase it. What is that fucking pass? Now... No, things have really shifted. Absolutely. He can't be onside there. Surely not. Good foul. He, oh, thank God he got there first. I swear. If he found a way to get it past all those Newcastle bodies and pick him out so perfectly, that would have been scenes. Here we are now. Stoppage time. Oh, ah. Uh, brought... Oh, I somehow came up with it. Still surrounded. Man, I just... was supposed to be on fucking all that attack? Why is no one pushing up? That can't be full time already. Oh my god, it bloody is too. Oh, that is... I can't believe it. That is the worst end to that game possible. Oh, I can't believe we've got a draw from that. That seems impossible to me. We were doing so fucking well. We could have scored so many goals in the first half. Didn't. I still don't know. The, the goal that they got came the counter-attack from it. I, I, I put a ball into a person in the box and it picked someone that was outside the box running in. I can't explain it. They picked up a goal. Ever since they scored... the. The whole game just flew fucking by, and it's 1-1. Now I'm sort of just waiting to see if Manchester United play another game in between, and if they do, will they draw again, or will they most likely go on and win? Doesn't look like they did, so they're still 79 points with 36 games played. Let's hope for the best result, and let's assume we get the best result, and take it up to 36 games and 77 points. That's two behind them, so now we need them to draw at least again. So... Yeah, sheesh, man. It's just, it's that Liverpool game. If they're going to drop points in any single game, it has to be that Liverpool game. Final game of the season, I'm sure it's going to end up going down to, unless we completely throw it away toward the end. But this will be the last game of the episode. I've thrown away too many points already. I can't do it against Burnley. Fuck's sake, no hell no. This Burnley side featuring some very interesting names, like, of course... Uh, the fact they brought in Marcus Rashford and some other big names that I'm sure we'll see pop up soon. They're definitely not the Burnley side you would normally associate with in real life. They are quite different and maybe will give us a little bit more of a slightly different game than you would expect. Oh my goodness, that is an absolute clattering. I'll take everything back, I said. That's the Burnley that we all fucking know. That'll work. To an extent, anyway. Oh, brilliant ball through. I did one too many. I, oh, I know a lot of you are probably screaming at me. And you probably deserve... Oh, I deserve it. Why did I play one more ball across there? Probably could have worked if the ball was fucking better. If it was put further ahead. But I should have just... I should have just shot with fucking Oberlin. Alright. We got it. I was just quiet. This is the thing. I talk fucking way too much in my games. And I, I just... Because... Ah, oh, I, I just play so much better when I'm just silent and I focus. Like, look, I set up Davies to run in there, so I knew that he would have the space. That ball, again, was not really that good. It was put too far ahead of him, but thankfully he slid for it and got a good finish to beat the keeper. Okay, 1-0 up within the first couple of minutes of the game. We are 18 minutes or so in, but still nice and early, and let's learn from the game against Southampton. One goal is not enough. What? No! Oh my god, if they'd scored that again, I would I would have felt fucking robbed. Just another garbage pass once again that is literally going to kill me. Hit a fucking target, boys. I swear, you're all 80 rated. There is no excuses. 
Good ball. Look at Ramsey and all the space that he's got. Lovely again. And just a little something to get past the keeper. Oh, that was tough because Heaton was coming out for it. And just the faintest, deftest of touches that gets it by him. Alfonso Davies does it again, the second of his game. And geez, I tell you what, could we know we're not going to get a third in this half. When I picked him up, Alfonso Davies was a Vancouver white cap. And I think Bayern Munich, someone, uh, someone from that club is watching this series because they went and picked him up as well. This kid is quality. You'll hear his name a lot more in the future. Oh, that is actually a brilliant ball. I'm not even mad. But we, oh my God, somehow find a way to deal with it. We just couldn't clear it. The ball on the rebound sat again for Rashford so kindly, but that was an amazing through ball. Again, if we concede a goal like that, it's you never want to concede, but they're the ones that I, if, if I'm going to, I want it to be something like, I just have to stick my hand up and go, well, Jesus, what could I do about that? Something like, that is not what I'm after. Poor marking again. It uh, Just come on. Moved it out to the right-hand side, and again, duh. Fuck's sake, Carrasco was right on him. I don't know where the hell Sanchez was, but Carrasco was on him and just let him run on past. I know you're not a centre back, but surely you have to go back and mark him if no one else is fucking there. I just Carrasco just drives me nuts. I shouldn't get too mad at him though. I should also ask where the fuck was D Davinson Sanchez? Again, just another shit goal. We don't need to concede those. Early tackle from Sengasunda. Lazar. Man, I've sold a fair few players from Newcastle to from Newcastle to these boys, haven't I? Lost the header, I can't fucking believe it. Just whipped in from the corner, and he's up in the air again, Chris Wood. Oh, ball's put in brilliantly. Who was on him? It was Ramsey that was there. Davinson Sanchez again. I don't know if he came off the line to go to deal with that or not, but just another fabulous fucking header in the top left that Wilson can't get to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness me. I don't believe it. Opal, and you got no power on that shot whatsoever. Oh, no! We were given a gift and Opalin just... He just fucking... Oh. Can we figure this out? Oh, I don't believe it. Again, it's put too far forward. Picked off by Lazar. I think this might be the end of our Premier League title run. I can't fucking believe this. It could well be. It's just beyond the reaches of Yedlin. And the ref says foul because he's a cunt and he's ruined it. The game's over. I don't care if I lose this game, you know, to be fair. I, oh. Ah! That was awful marking. I was just doing whatever I could. I was just trying to run numbers forward. I literally don't care if I lose this game. Because it, it didn't matter. If I fucking... I didn't care. If I if I lost this game or drew this game, it wouldn't matter. I had to get a win to keep my Premier League title hopes alive. And it's, it's, it's all but dead. That was just some shitty marking. I literally took the bloke that was on him and just ran him out the box in the hope that I could get a counter-attack. It's so stupid. To be fair, I'm, I'm just as fucking salty and upset. I really don't care. I had to get a win today, so this result feels, even though it is a loss, a draw still would have felt like a loss anyway. Well, that's our Premier League season. Honestly, it's fucking done. It really is. Yeah, see, look, even if we got 75 points, even if we did pull out the draw there, it doesn't bloody matter because we would have been able to only get 81 points, and that is that. It's, it's over. Manchester United have won the title. I had to get the win against Southampton, and I had to get the win against Burnley, and I couldn't fucking do it. I smashed third place Chelsea, but those fucking shittier lower league te lower table teams doesn't matter. Couldn't put them away. It's weird. I got this weird, like, like, ah, oh, I don't know. If, it's not an inferiority complex. It's that's not the right word for it. But how come every time I play a weaker opposition, like in the cups? I don't know if it's a mental thing. I just I don't know if I take it easier on them. But it's it's weird. I think it might be because against the top sides, the the higher rated, the bigger clubs they actually go for the game pretty much from the off. And when you play teams like Southampton and Burnley, they, they sit back, they lock up, they make it harder for you to score. So probably playing against the bigger clubs, even though they're probably harder on paper anyway, they're actually a better, they have a better game style for me to actually go and attack them because they're more open at the back. But that is that then. It's over. Premier League title's done. And I didn't even like, yeah, I didn't even take it to the last episode, you know. We're leaving things here with the game against Huddersfield. I'll probably play one Premier League game in the next episode, and maybe I'll play the kids just for a bit of fun, like a bit of an ex exhibition game, if you will. Uh, as a matter of fact, fuck it. I mean, I I'm going to simulate this Huddersfield game, and that last game of the Premier League season, we will end it there. Hope, maybe, for... Uh, oh, my God. Even a sim result. Come on, this has just been it. I might not end up in fucking the top two. I might end up losing my second spot to Chelsea. Yeah, we, uh, we now come to the game against Tottenham, and... 
even second place isn't exactly assured. It's just a, it's a fucking, what a awful end to our season. Well, the Premier League title race didn't exactly go the way I was hoping it would. Even if, you know, we won all of our games and we lost it at, right at the end, it, it would have been upsetting, but whatever. But the worst thing is, we could have maybe done it. They did drop a point at uh, Manchester United and it opened the door for us, but we had to win all of our games. We couldn't beat Southampton. Uh, we threw away the win against Burnley as well. Just very fucking annoying, frustrating way to end it. But hell, whatever. At least our chance at silverware isn't completely over. FA Cup final and the season three finale coming up very soon. Till that episode, guys. Till the end of season three. My name is The Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.